Hey, Kowalski here. Welcome back to another video. Now, we're continuing the series covering the World Chess Championships and uh, their winner, obviously. Um, this is gonna be kind of like a weekly Wednesday thing. Now, this video is a little bit special because here enters the scene Paul Morton, one of the greatest chess talents to ever, you know, play chess. Um, he, he, you know, completely steamrolled everybody, every, every single European champion. He won the 1857 uh, Chess Congress in America and then he came to Europe to offer uh, the European champions uh, a beatdown. And he played a match in 1858 the next year with uh, none other than Adolf Anderson. We all know him, that, uh, he's uh, the undisputed uh, champion. Um, he won in the last episode, right, with uh, that the first chess tournament ever. And, um, you know, from that until here, he was still the best. And um, surprising uh, or not, he lost the game 8-3. Uh, well, uh, in those days, yes, it was surprising, but uh, in our days, we all know how strong Morphe is. And if you want to know more about how strong Morphe is, you can check Agat Mator's saga on him. It's a very, very nice, um, you know, instructive series. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing. So uh, you can check that out, you can just type in the Morphe Saga and you're gonna find a whole playlist and that has the, you know, a lot of matches, almost all of them, and uh, it, it covers the rise and the peak of Morphe. So uh, for this, uh, for this uh, video I selected a game from the match that they played in 1858, Morphe traveled to Paris and um, he beat uh, Anderson 8-3. So um, Anderson said that he wasn't uh, really in top shape, but uh, then after the match said that even if he had been in the greatest of shapes, he would have never beat Morphe. So we have e4 by Morphe and we have c5 with Sicilian and now Morphe goes uh, for a gambit. But um, Anderson doesn't accept the gambit, he actually goes into a very normal looking Sicilian and now Morphe unprovoked plays knight b5, but it's okay, we have d6, an attack on the pawn and um, now we should slice back to e3, so everything is fine, but now Anderson goes f5 and kind of overextends a little bit, and now after knight c3 just developing, um, you know, Anderson thinks that f4 and he's pushing the bishop back, and in fact, if you go with the bishop back, then it's definitely black who has the better position, black is just gonna kick you back and now just have a very pleasant game but in fact after f4 morphe begins the beauty and goes knight to d5 now sacking the bishop and here he goes knight bc7 check right you have to check and here uh, if you go uh, king uh, king to d7 this is mating one uh, this all these squares are taken so uh, here instead anderson goes king f7 and now morphe goes queen f3 you have to block and the silent move bishop c4 uh, i mean this move threatens a lot of discoveries and um, you really have to be careful now uh anderson plays the best move knight d4 but here he makes a slight mistake after knight takes on f6 after d5 and um bishop takes on d5 now the only move that draws is king e7 uh not necessarily draws right away but the, the, the only move that's fine here there are multiple moves that Morphe can play, um, but let's say you go for Queen H5, trying to fork this and this. Now this gives time uh, for Black to take uh, the knight, and uh, after the check, now after King D6, the knight is attacked and you're forced to take the rook. Now you can deliver a check, but it's very important not to take the rook, as the the queen and the king would be very very weak and uh, you would have to give up your queen in a few moves but instead you you have to play active you have to play queen e7 trying to go for the queen trade and i want to uh, give you an example here if you take the rook now simply bishop b3 right making way for the for the rook you take the bishop and now if check obviously the knight blocks and you have not achieved anything we have takes and now again you have to be uh, very important after the king moves not to deliver the check check is now losing because you give time for black to develop and you cannot even do something like this because of queen d2 so it's very important to just go rook d1 and in this position if uh, you know if black tries to save the queen let's say uh, go queen e7 again this is actually mating one and if he tries to save the queen let's say here uh, to you know guard the square uh, this is made by via e8 so you're forcing the king up and then you're taking the bishop and now material is actually equal and it's mating three uh, queen c7 and uh, king before and uh, queen c4 and this is mate 
So you have to be careful still with black and it's not a very easy position, but it would not have been losing. Instead, Anderson played king g6 and that's where the beauty of the, of the game comes from. We have queen to h5 now forcing Anderson to take and now just f takes on e3. I mean, just an easy move, just, just attacking the knight, not, not doing anything too crazy. Uh, you give up a fork, but you don't even care. And here Anderson resigns because if you if you take the rook, you just go for material. It's mate in six. We have just rook f1, simply king e7 only move. Now you take this pawn, and now after a move like king d 7 you can actually go for the check. And after king c6, you can go rook c1 check and just uh, checkmate your opponent. And uh, if you try something else here, I don't even know what you could try. If you try to take the knight, this is still um, this is mate, but also just winning the queen. Uh, king d8 just winning the queen and then not only the queen but the knight and it's simply just uh, too big of a material loss now th this game was just uh, was just very very nice and uh, as i said more uh, um agar Mator has a very very nice series on uh, on uh, morphe and you can check that out uh, if you want to see more uh, this video is a little bit on the shorter side because there's a lot of content already about Morphe on the platform and I don't want to, you know, uh, over present stuff. I want to keep the beauty of it. So, this was the video. I'll see you on the next one. Kowalski, out.